Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the offset function, but specifically the difference between using a single cell as a reference versus using a range of cells at the reference and when you might use one versus the other. So let's take a look at this in Excel. So here I have 12 rows worth of data and months January through December and I also put the totals for those in column O just so we can see that and use that as a reference and I want to be able to sum up any row that I select and we're going to use the sum function in conjunction with offset to perform that task but first let's take a look at what the offset function is so if I type equals offset it returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. So if I hit tab and then I use my reference as cell B1 and if I wanted to go down three rows and over four columns I'll close that I'll get 13. So if I start at B1 go down one, two, three rows and over one, two, three, four columns it gives me the number 13. So that's basically what the offset function does. It uses a starting point in the reference and then using various methods either with calculations or manually entering or some other way you can determine how many rows down, how many columns over and then that becomes the selected point. From there you can then choose how many rows high and how many columns wide you may want a range of cells to be. And you're going to see how that works in the example that we're going to uh, undertake here. So let me just delete this and I'm going to go over to my cell B15 and here I'm going to enter what row I want to add up because again we're going to use the sum function with the offset function to sum up a row of data. So let's say I want to put uh, row 4 in. So I'm going to go over to cell C15 and I'm going to start typing equals sum tab and then I'm going to type the offset function and my reference again is going to be B1 comma. How many rows down do I want to go? Well I'm going to reference cell B15 where I typed a 4 and then how many columns over? Well, my starting point needs to be one column over, so it starts in the January column, so I'm going to put a one there, comma. Now, how high do I want, or how many rows high do I want to include in my sum? Well, in this case, just one row high. And then how wide? Well, I want to get all 12 months, so I'll put a 12 in there for how many columns wide I want the range that I'm going to sum to be. I'll close my offset function, I'll close my sum function, hit control enter, and now I get 327. So if I go down to row 4 and go over column 1 and then make it one row high and 12 wide, it will include all the data from C5 over to N5, which gives me a total of 327, and that's what my total is, 327. So that's how I can use the sum function in conjunction with offset to sum a row of data for my 12 months. Now let's use a range instead of a single cell for our reference point. So again, I'm going to start with equals sum and then offset. And instead of selecting B1, I'm going to select C1 through N1 as my reference point. I'll hit a comma here. And then what row do I want to use? Well, I'm going to select the same cell B15, which tells me I'm going to select row 4 a comma, then I'm going to hit zero because I don't want to move over any columns. I'm starting in C1. I've moved down to row 4, and which means I moved down to cell C5. So that's now my point. I don't have to define the height or I don't have to define the width because the width has been determined in my range because I've made it 12 cells wide. And by default, you always have one row high. 
So I'm going to close off my offset, close off my sum, hit Control Enter, and now I get the same answer, 327. So again, using the range of cells C1 to N1, what I've done is use that whole row of data, those 12 different cells, as my reference point. Then I went down four rows and didn't have to go over any because, again, I started my range with C1. And again, I did not have to identify how many columns wide or how many rows high I wanted it to be because the rows high was predetermined or defaults to 1. The columns wide of 12 was predetermined by the range that I used in my reference. So that's the difference between using a single cell or a range of cells when using the offset function. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.